been one of the requested videos from you guys and it's my updated favorite drugstore foundations I have a good few bits to get through so I'll just jump in I'll probably do brand by brand just to keep things a little bit more cohesive so I'm going to start off with the max factor I've got a few um, max factor foundations let me get them all out I actually have four um, I've tried pretty much every max factor foundation that they have at this stage there's a few I don't like and these are the four that I really do like so first of all, and I did do a video on this ages ago, so any of the videos I did on any of these um, will be linked to below if you want more information about them, but it's the Max Factor Ageless Elixir 2-in-1 Foundation and Serum. I kind of like my 2-in-1 foundations, whether it be primer and foundation or serum and foundation. This is a lovely skin-like um, kind of satin finish foundation. It has an SPF of 50, um, 15, sorry. I have pretty much every colour because I use it in my kit. I really loved it that much that I was happy enough to use it on clients. And anytime I use it on any clients, they absolutely adore how it looks on their skin. It gives quite good coverage. I think it is a full coverage foundation, but um, I would say it's more, like it's called a full coverage, but I'd say it's more of a medium. This is supposed to help against the look of wrinkles and all that kind of stuff. You know, it helps blur the look of those. And because of the coverage, it does cover age spots and very uneven tone on some older skins, but you can use it at any age. I just think it's a lovely foundation. Of course, it's going to be under the 20 euro, around the 20 euro mark or less, because it is Max Factor and it's a fantastic foundation. It just gives a really beautiful, flawless finish. Highly recommend this if you want to try it out. Like I said, check the video and the blog post to see more about that. Then this guy here, um, if you live in Ireland and you go to the cinema, um, every time I've been in the ice cinema recently in Galway, the ad for this has been on it and um, it's, it's kind of daft, the ad itself, but the foundation is good. It's the Face Finity All Day Flawless 3-in-1 Foundation. It's their primer, concealer and foundation in one, again an all-in-one kind of thing. This has an SPF of 20. I'm the colour light ivory. Now, it's a little bit more neutral, um, neutral to kind of warm for my own coverage or my own skin tone but it looks fine once it's on and I've powdered it and all that kind of stuff I just love how it lasts it does have the primer in built now I've actually have the primer somewhere separately and it's brilliant by itself but it just lasts all day now one thing I will say this would be more suitable maybe for combination oily skins I wouldn't use it if you're very dry because it can cling a little bit to the dry patches so I need to make sure I prep any of my slightly normal more normal to dry areas very well but apart from that, it's lovely. It's more of a medium coverage and it is quite a natural matte finish. So that's a lovely one. I should have mentioned as well that this first one that I showed you would be a little bit more suitable for uh, normal to dry skin rather than very oily. The other Max Factor, the third Max Factor foundation is the Miracle Touch uh, Liquid Illusion Foundation. I've had this one for quite a long time. It came with a sponge in the top, which means that it's really, really handy, of course, for um, bag touch-ups. And the actual foundation is this. Again, it's Creamy Ivory number 40. Um, as opposed to light ivory but so this is kind of what it says on the tin it is a cream but it goes on like a liquid it doesn't go on thick like a cream it's very very blendable again I would say this is more for a uh, normal to dry skin but I can use it no bother on my oily t-zone as long as I use a primer underneath so all of these guys I can wear no bother and I am combination I have the oily t-zone I have the normal to dry patches and um, it's just about how you prep your skin so you will have to prep accordingly for most of them so I just make sure I definitely use a primer on my oily areas and besides that it's lovely so I love this for a slightly more kind of dewy finish and um it's like I said a handy one for the bag then the last max factor foundation I'm going to show you is this guy and it's one of my newer ones from the brand and it's the whipped cream foundation in light ivory again number 40 this one I was very kind of uh, impressed by because I assumed well I had very little expectations from it because I assumed it would be like the normal dry mousse foundations that um you know in the past have always been quite dry and never blended very well and always stuck to dry areas this isn't like that at all this is just it goes on kind of like a cream but it looks like a mousse it's whipped it's very light it gives a lovely flawless finish anytime i've worn this i always get compliments on my skin and that's why it's there now none of these are very heavy coverage the heaviest coverage one i've showed you so far is the first guy this one here again would be medium they're pretty much all buildable though so you could get a heavier coverage if you want but i like my skin to look like skin i mean even like you can see today i have um quite a lovely even skin tone but you can still see freckles and that's what i'd get with this as well and um, this is not what i'm wearing but it would be similar finish so that's that guy then moving on to Maybelline and I have, is it just two to show you? 
yeah it's just two of the Maybelline ones to show you and it's pretty much the two Fit Me ones from Maybelline. So it's the Fit Me Liquid and the Fit Me Anti Shine Stick. I did do a video on this guy so I'll link to that below as well. The Anti Shine Stick would of course be more suitable for anyone with a combination oily, um, say T-zone or oily areas because it does help minimise shine and inhibit oil production. Um, on the skin so that is a lovely one I've always loved how handy this is as well um, again I didn't have high expectations when I first tried it because it being a stick and the colour 115 I thought would be much more pink than it was but it's neutral enough for myself and um, it just blends really easily again it looks quite skin like when it's on and I just think it's a lovely range in general I'm in love with the whole Fit Me range um, the Fit Me Liquid Foundation I love even more. It took me a lot longer to get onto this than the other one because this colour, the 110, which is my colour in the liquid, wasn't available here in Ireland. don't think it still is. Well, it's not in Galway. It could be in Dublin. This has an SPF of 18. I got this one in America. Now, it doesn't have a pump, but I believe that the ones you buy in Ireland do have a pump. Like I said, I got this in the States. And um, this gives the most beautiful evenness to the skin. It gives a really flawless finish. Again, I'd say it's more of a natural satin finish, but... Um, it's not very heavy at all. If you want something nice and light on the skin, this is what's going to give it to you. And um, yeah, I just think that's a really, really lovely foundation as well. The glass can be a bit clunky though, so not maybe the best thing for the bag. This guy here would be better for the bag. Then moving on to Revlon, I have two Revlon foundations. So the first one would be the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush. Now I did originally have the Red Revlon Photo Ready and I think I showed that in my last favourite drugstore foundation and I did really like it for a while but what I used to notice is after wearing it for the whole day as my skin dried a little bit after and I mean after about eight or nine hours the glittery particles in it became a little bit more obvious as maybe the uh, liquid that is you know in the actual formula of the other one um, was absorbed into my skin so I didn't love that and I don't get that from this. This still does have very minute particles in it that gives a lovely lift to the skin. I'm number 10 vanilla in this. And the mousse makeup, even though it's a mousse, it's not dry at all again. It goes on lovely. I'd say it's fine for um, pretty much any skin type as long as you prep accordingly. And um, it lasts very long in the skin. And I kind of like the lightweightness of the bottle. It's, I think, kind of like a tin um, bottle and then it has a pump thing up here. So. It's handy enough for the bag, but I just think that's a really nice foundation. Again, I just kind of like the gimmicky type foundations I always have. Now, this one, of course, is a cult favourite. It's the Revlon Colour Stay one. This is uh, SPF of 20. I have the normal dry skin one. Now, I did do a comparison video between the normal dry skin one and the combination oily one, and I actually prefer this one even for my oily area. Um, I'm the colour 150 buff. There is a lighter one again, but it's more pink and it makes me look very, very pale. So this one here, it just lasts all day. It is kind of, it's. I think it's supposed to be full coverage, but I don't think it's very, very full coverage. I think it's more medium buildable. Um, it's. I wouldn't say it's a full on matte finish by any means, even the like combination oily one isn't really, but it gives a lovely skin like finish. So I would say again, kind of a natural satin finish and it just lasts. It's just one of those ones that will like deal with sweat and a little bit of oiliness and all that kind of stuff and you don't really have to worry about it rubbing off this is the one to go for so if I'm looking for a good coverage to really last that's the fella for it now what, oh, now what I'm wearing today is the show good face by soap and glory and this is actually my third time repurchasing this one um bottle I did give to my sister when there was only a little bit gone out of it so it's only my second kind of I've only finished one full bottle, say, but I love this. I have it on today. I just love the finish. It's a two in one, so it has a primer built into it. You need to give it a good shake, but it just lasts. And I'd say after a good eight hours now, I would get quite shiny down the nose. So if you're very oily, you might even need to use slightly more kind of oil control primer in those areas. But besides that, it is a lovely light foundation. Um, I like the bottle as well. It's a very lightweight plastic bottle, so it's really handy for the bag. I'm the lightest colour, which is the fairest of them all, and I just think the Soap and Glory um, products are under kind of valued. I just think, not undervalued, but um, under hyped. I think that there should be a lot more love for them because there's some great products. Their kick ass concealer was in my favourite concealers last week, so, um, and I think I will be doing my favourite drugstore powders again because other people were asking for that and I have the kick-ass powder and I think it's brilliant so better move on quickly because I'm going to be out of yes I'm going to be out of um 
power any minute. So these guys here, the Bourjois foundations, these are the Healthy Mix foundations. I've got the serum and the regular one. Both are absolutely beautiful. Um, they're very, very similar to the Chanel, whichever one was discontinued anyhow, but Bourjois and Chanel are under the same franchise or the same umbrella and a lot of their products are very very similar it's just the price point that's different these are very beautiful foundations they give gorgeous coverage quite long lasting the serum one of course is for um more kind of normal to dry skin and the healthy mix would be more for combination skin the normal one they're both long wearing they're 16 hours wear and they're infused with like different kind of fruit additives and minerals and vitamins and stuff like that so they're quite good for the skin they're both radiant boosting and lumin luminizing and all that kind of stuff so both of them are lovely they're in kind of fancier looking packaging now because this one was repackaged and um, I just think they look really well so they are those guys then the only L'Oreal one I have is the Nude Magic. now this color is the lightest one it's the porcelain it isn't even light enough for me at the moment if I had a bit of a tan I could probably wear it but it's just how well it goes on the skin it has that real beautiful velvet feel to it it's a really unusual it contains natural oils that um kind of evaporate once they're on the skin and then it leaves you with the most beautiful velvety, fi velvety finish. It's very lightweight so if you're looking for coverage it's not really the one. This is a dupe for the Armani, one of the Armani foundations and you definitely need to give it a good shake as well. It does say to apply it with your finger, that's fine. Um, you can apply it with your finger, finger or for, with your brush. I always prefer a brush but I have used my fingers to apply it and it's fine as well. Then the last couple, um, the Vichy Aeroton Pure. I did a video on this, so I'll link to that below, but this is one of my all-time favorite foundations. This is the one for combination oily skin. They also do one for dry normal, but um, I just love this. Now there is an SPF on it, but annoyingly they don't actually say what it is on this bottle. It was just on the outside. I think it was 18 or 20. It has a 12 hour wear claim. It really does last quite long in the skin, but I just love how beautiful it looks. Again, it has kind of a velvety, finish or feel to it once it on once it's on and it just gives a lovely evenness to the skin um really really lovely foundation if you're looking for something with a little bit of oil control it wouldn't be hardcore oil control now a little bit of oil control but just to really give you a nice flawless finish and again have it look quite lightweight and feel light on the skin so the last two first of all i have this guy which is the catrice photo finish 18 hour liquid foundation i used to use their matte foundation the one that was discontinued and i loved it and when that went um i tried the new matte foundation and i did quite like it though on that plus but i actually prefer this guy so this is another long lasting one it's 18 hours it's oil free you can be used on any skin type you just have to prep accordingly like i said before and it's quite lightweight but this has decent coverage i'd say it's like medium buildable again um, it does have light reflecting pigments in it, but they're not very obvious. It just gives a lovely luminance, luminous to, luminance, luminance to the skin. Um, what else does it say about it? Oil free and yeah, that's lovely. Soft focus effect. And I, one thing I'm really impressed by with the Catrice products is how well they're packaged for the price. I think this is about six euro and the packaging is beautiful as well as the products being very, very good quality. And then quickly, before my camera dies, this is my last one for today, and it's the number seven Stay Perfect Foundation. Now, I'm not sure if number seven is um, Drugstore in America. It is here. This is an SPF of 15. It lasts forever. I use this in my kit on brides a lot as well, and just in bridal parties, partl, parties, partles, <laughs> parties in general. It um, is rub resistant. It, it stays, like it keeps your skin hydrated, but it does last quite a long time. And even though it has the SPF of 15, it photographs beautifully beautifully most of these photograph really well as well and um again it comes with a lovely pump i really like the packaging and that's pretty much it so that's all i'm going to do for now in this video because my video is going to die any second and i will leave the link to my older favorite drugstore um foundations from like two years ago below in case you want to see what's changed and some of them aren't available anymore some of them i just never repurchased and stuff like that and that's it so i hope you like this guys thanks so much for watching i'll chat to you all really soon Bye.